Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is the uh, Ubuntu uh, Free Culture Showcase session for the uh, Ubuntu Mountain Summit for uh, November. So we're leading it to Xenial, and I'm really excited. Um, let's see here. If you have anything else to ask, you can join us in IRC and Freenode in the channel hash Ubuntu-UOS-Community. And uh, just feel free to ask any questions you might have. Uh, make sure you put the word question in uppercase, followed by colon, and I'd be happy to uh, to answer any questions you have a little bit later. Uh, if you want to join in this video um, hangout session and talk there, uh, likewise, let me know on IRC, and I can send you the link if I can find the link uh, to uh, send that. So um, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I'll give everyone a minute or so to get started, but uh, basically, we're going to be talking about the uh, uh, the Ubuntu Free Culture Showcase and uh, what we want to do with it for this cycle as we work through Xenio and lead up to Ubuntu 16.04 LTS. So that'll be pretty fun. Um, I think that it'll be a, I think it's a really exciting opportunity uh, for different uh, artists, whether it's uh, photographers or uh, music artists or uh, video artists, so I think uh, that be pretty good. Uh, let's see. Dave Pinnell is on his way. That's good. Let's see. Make sure he has a link. I just realized I need to should probably put a, pull up the etherpad. Find it. There we go. Yeah, I thought it was thought it was all set and had it prepared. Now I forgot the etherpad. Okay, that's up. Uh, let's see here. So I'll go ahead and wait for David, and that's my excuse now for waiting. But it's not his fault. The uh, the last session ran a little a little long, so. So while we wait, um, <clears throat> while we wait, the uh, I know that there are a few. No, I don't think it doesn't have it. So let's double check here. So so now I get to see if I can figure out how to invite people. There we go. Okay, so you should be here in a moment. And so I know that there were uh, some things that people brought up as concerns or suggestions uh, during the last cycle for Wiley. And so uh, we'll be talking about this as well. But if you do have um, any questions, go ahead and log into IRC. That's the best way to get hold of us, and we'll answer that uh, as we go on. There we go. Hi, Nathan. Hi, David. Glad you could make it. Good, good. All right. All right. I see that you've got a bunch of uh, topics already on the uh, on the agenda. Sorry, I couldn't join earlier. Um, I need to do to, to, to some things between sessions. Is there anyone you've already started with? No, no. I was just uh, vamping. So uh, you're you're right on time. Cool. Yeah. So um, 
I guess for anyone watching, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and just start with the overview of what the Free Culture Showcase is. So um, basically, it's an opportunity to show high quality free culture uh, content on Ubuntu. Um, we have these great great install disks that have a live environment, and so for different reasons, it was really useful to have uh, content on the disk in in the live environment. So we used to have a lot of extra documents and things. We'd have like Word documents and PDFs and so on, so you could actually load them up and see, yes, this Ubuntu does read Word docs and PDFs right out of the box. Um, and in addition, uh, it was also seen as not only a good idea to uh, uh, be able to test like you know your sound card and your video card hardware acceleration and so on, uh, different file formats, but um, in order to put content on a disk to do that, we thought, well, it all has to be freely licensed. Wouldn't it be a great idea to showcase some of the fantastic work happening in the uh, the free culture uh, sort of um, ecosystem? And so um, the free culture showcase is a is a way to sort of um, st attract that content, celebrate that content. And unfortunately, we, we I don't remember when that started. Uh, I want to say it was around. Um, you know, four, seven, four, something like that, and uh, lasted for a while. And so, um, uh, as part of that, also, uh, we were also selecting a wallpaper uh, from that was for the lessons and, and encouraging uh, photographers to submit a wallpaper in that way. So, um, the uh, the audio and the video uh, sort of fell by the wayside a couple years back, but the wallpaper is still going strong. So. Um, Last uh, last cycle for Wiley, um, there wasn't someone to need to to run and organize or see that that sort of process. So I jumped in, sort of last minute, um, as I was finishing my book, uh, which uh, um, fortunately the book actually went just fine and it's out and I survived barely. Um, this is uh, well worth every penny. Um, by the way, I feel a link as I was saying in the last session, but anyway. Um, so I was able to get the showcase started and had these submission pulls, but um, there was no time for introspection about, you know, uh, should we change the rules or how would, how should things be hosted and so on. Um, and since uh, nobody kicked me off uh, last cycle, I'm doing it in this cycle. And so um, I thought this would be a good chance to see, you know, is there a way to improve this process that the um, Contest was going on for a while, and it was very, very popular. But um, as I said, the the wallpaper still work, uh, but video and audio uh, have have gotten uh, less popular. So um, that's for doing this uh, this session. All right, uh, Nathan. Quick question before we we, we move on. Um, did you have any feedback in terms of um, like perhaps one of the content creators? in which um, oh, do you have any feedback in the sense of why um, there weren't as many video and, uh, and audio submissions? Was it because of the difficulty to, uh, to create the content or whether there was no, like, um, no motivation for creating those? I didn't get any feedback about that. I suspect it uh, was a combination of um, not a lot of lead time as far as uh, announcements for the submission period, and then uh, you know, video can take a very, very long time. So um, um, I'm hoping that uh, this cycle we can, we can get some suggestions of where we can go to announce this, um, rather than just Planet of Ubuntu and some of the community um, mailing lists. Uh, I get the sense that maybe uh, the community members weren't so proactive in, in taking that along and announcing that to uh, to different parts of the community. So I'd like to uh, maybe be a little more proactive myself if I can get um, recommendations for where to where to announce these, uh, the submission contest. I think that would right. that would help. Yeah, I think I think now that you're mentioning this, I mean, I think a good idea might be perhaps to to research where content creators who, I mean, I think we, we were quite successful with uh, with wallpapers or we, we, we still we still are. Um, and I think this, this comes mainly from, from enthusiasts of, of Ubuntu want to see their wallpaper in, uh, in Ubuntu. But perhaps um, like those people who are more um, 
I don't know, perhaps not not as attached to 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 Ubuntu as uh, as regular Ubuntu enthusiasts. Perhaps I mean they. I'm sure they hang out somewhere somewhere else, and I'm sure there are like forums for video creators or uh, social media for video creators. So it might be like worth exploring essentially what you're saying to look in which other places we could we could reach out for contributors. Right, and it might also be a good idea. Like um, I can probably talk to the Ubuntu Studio guys and and. That seems like it would be a natural place to advertise, since it's it's uh, you know set up specifically for content creation, uh, among other things. I think just with a little extra time and without um, this eighty-two thousand word book looming over me, I think I have a little more uh, chance for clarity. If if Ubicon Summit doesn't kill me first, so uh, we'll <laughs> we'll see. Uh, oh, of course, yeah, that comes right in. Okay. Right into the the announcement is uh, right into the summit. Yeah, when I backtracked, um, you know, a month for submissions, a week for judging, a week for packaging. Let's not have that one week be exactly you know seven days before uh, the actual UI freeze. You know, so if there's any problems, uh, it backtracked. It actually did work out as as that that Sunday. I had joked about that before, hey, wouldn't it be great to just announce it there? Um, because actually, there's never going to overlap. But it actually, what's that? Actually, it might be a good idea to talk about it on the uh, during the Ubicon Summit, perhaps like doing a demo of the content that's been, um, that's been provided so far. I mean, not only like on this edition, but on previous editions of the, um, of the, um, the contest. Um, that would make a really good unconference session, actually. So uh, <laughs> yeah. If, Depending, uh, I always end up pulled everywhere. Uh, well, the problem on Friday is I'm running the booth too, so well, we'll see. Um, uh -huh. Let's see. Somebody is asking questions in the Etherpad and not in IRC, but that's okay. I see them now, so we can answer this. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> so um, the question about uh, uh, the canonical shop is we don't run the canonical shop and we have nothing to do with that. So um, that's not something we can we can do anything about. Um, let's see, another question is, so what? how many seconds and what format must the Ubuntu Free Culture Showcase? Um, question still coming in. Uh, yeah, so basically uh, that was hopefully given on the uh, on the main page. I guess, uh, actually, let me link this in the chat. Uh, so on the Ubuntu Wiki, so that's an IRC now. Um, so on the Ubuntu Wiki, it's uh, wiki.ubuntu.com forward slash, and then Ubuntu Free Culture Showcase, uh, each word capitalized, uh, gives the submission guidelines. The submission guidelines for the video uh, was that 30 seconds was probably a good length, uh, and the video should be probably 720p. You know, widescreen, 1280 by 720. And uh, the idea is that if it's not in a lot of time, it's just sort of a little vignette. But um, not only does that, I should post on the right channel, I guess, on, on IRC. Um, so not only is that easier to produce, but um, we are constrained by file size. And so um, I know that was a point of contention for the wallpapers, but there's the, the technical board, I think, determines that, certainly not me. So, um, you know, one minute maybe. Uh, so 30 seconds to 60 seconds, I think would be good. Um, no no movies, no short films, but uh, um, probably would be a good start. And let's see. Um, so bring up the Etherpad again. That's everything here. Okay, so um, we do have um, everything. So, I, I, what I would ask is for the community is, you know, what anyone who's been around uh, previously who has seen the process, I would be open to suggestions of what needs improving, because uh, it wasn't something I really had any time to look at this last cycle. And uh, you know, I think that, uh, I, well, I think you can always improve things. Um, I think one thing that um, I always get that I've seen over and over again, and then people were asking me directly last time, is that they 
don't so wallpapers for example uh the wallpaper submission contest is hosted on Flickr. um the video contest is hosted on vimeo and the uh the audio contest is um, hosted on soundcloud we're often asked well you know, those proprietary services and you have to sign it for account and uh, you know there should be a free um platform that we host everything on and um i think that would be optimal but i don't think one exists so uh there's that do you have any thoughts on that david um no i mean i think i think the thing is also to think about the goal that we're trying to to reach and uh it's about free content i mean i think it would be optimal of course to have a free service hosting hosting those but uh if using these uh, these proprietary services to host them, just as a pragmatic way of uh, of reaching that goal. I think I mean myself. That's that's always my view. That's that's always acceptable. But um, I mean, what I would ask for uh, from from those people making those, those, those suggestions, which are um, perfectly valid valid ones, and ones which uh, which I mean um, we should strive to, um, would be to suggest uh, any any other um, any other services that uh, that we could use. I think using those proprietary services um, because of uh, that they are popular uh, helps us with, uh, reach also um, more content creators as well. Um, so I mean, I myself would uh, would perhaps look at this as something to optimize in the future. But I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Um, this is not something that I would put on the priority list. I think the priority list might be perhaps to. Um, like for us to try to reach to more content creators to bring more awesome free content to Ubuntu. I agree. We also have the problem then with um, not just well, the problem is that you get you have problems of uh, hosting and you know yeah. bandwidth and storage and all that. Yeah, it's the same. It's so the I same don't think that's a soulful problem. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's the thing. That's the same thing that we find with uh, with some other initiatives that we run in Ubuntu. Um, I mean, we've we've seen in the past that uh, some projects have failed because we've concentrated too much on infrastructure rather than the actual project. And uh, I mean, in this particular case, given the fact that the infrastructure is there and we can we can use it, then we can spend some more time on uh, on actually getting the content and um, and promoting the contest. I agree. And I feel really bad. Somebody um, from the community, uh, uh, once the announcement was made, bought a web domain and then emailed me and said, hey, I got a domain. Let's host it there. And, I, and of course, there was nothing I could do about that. I, I didn't. And f what made me uh, feel bad was I didn't have time to respond to the email uh, in the depth of which it uh, deserved. And then I lost the email. And um, I actually spent like an hour looking for it. A couple weeks later, I could not find it. So, um, uh, it was a very sweet gesture, uh, and I, I really appreciated it. But unfortunately, there wasn't anything to do about it. It, it um, uh, you know, unless we redirected to the wiki page, I think that I don't think there was anything to put on the page. So, um, yeah, every every cycle, someone says, "Why are you using Flickr?" And every cycle, the answer is because it's a photography website so um for made for sharing photos so um yeah, i mean i'd say i'd say so, like community um I mean, every every suggestion or, or every um i think every time every time we're always open for suggestions where um i mean one of the things that characterizes ubuntu is uh like the open environment in which everyone can bring thoughts can can chip in essentially but also the important thing to think about is this is also about collaboration and uh, and being proactive as well. And one thing that I'd like to mention here, and I think we've said this uh, this publicly, um, we were all very happy for Nathan to to pick up the organization of the Free Culture Showcase. Um, I mean, without him, essentially, this wouldn't have uh, happened. And um, the fact that he's managed it, he's managed it, um, like even writing his his book, um, it's just it's just amazing. So I mean. And the fact that you're running this session, Nathan, that's 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 even better. I mean, I think one thing that I, that I'd say perhaps uh, on the on in the uh, on the uh, department of the improvements, perhaps 
was that perhaps we should look at ways in which uh, other community members could, uh, could chip in more easily so that to, um, not all of the work is just offloaded to just one one person. And uh, I mean, looking at the at the items that at the work item for the organization at the, of the contest, I'm wondering if like using one of our community trail boards might be something that um, that could be useful for um, essentially have like some community members who are making suggestions on how the the the, the contest could be run. Um, they could then um, just essentially pick one of the one of the cards or, or one of the work items. From, from there. Um, well, thanks for the compliments, uh, first off. I, the problem is that uh, there's not, so the only real work items, I mean, there's not really much to do. Um, uh, you know, I was trying to email past stakeholders earlier to make sure that I wasn't stepping on anyone's toes by creating the, the submission pools. And as usual, nobody cared, people were, were happy some was just taking the reins and you know there were no sort of feelings um which is something I always remember in, in in free software you can always just jump in and just do it do it right um so i think the biggest thing um that we could use is uh probably just publicity uh, people going to different um uh different places where creators create content and um I know that uh, one person uh, blamed me for a low number of submissions for the wallpaper contest, but um, you know, there's there's more that I could do. Uh, I mean, I was I was distracted, and we'll be again this time. I'm going to be do, uh, working with the EVCon and, and the the scale booth. But um, you know, I didn't ever hear of the places where he advertised the free culture showcase, and so. Um, I think that everybody who is interested in this can, can just help out by just posting. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm making the schedule up and locked in, not just to make it easier for um, uh, for packaging the results. Um, I mean, I, I was able to get the, uh, we got the wallpapers in, we kind of snuck it in with the UI exception freeze for the uh, the default desktop wallpaper because uh, the canonical design team is always late with that too. But um, you know, with these dates planned in advance, we are able to then uh, go ahead and, and um, you know, that gives other people the opportunity to say, to, to plan their announcements too. So we, we really do need that. Um, I can't announce everything everywhere uh, myself. So I, I, you know, if, if you uh, know photographers or know musicians or know um, uh, videographers, you know, who are working with um, freely licensed, uh, uh, a content license, Creative Commons, basically. Um, you should definitely, uh, you know, contact them, email them, post on forums, and and let people know. That's the most important thing, I think. Cool. Yeah. I mean, so then perhaps what we what we could do is to work out to work out on a like, sorry to work on a on a messaging plan, well in well in advance to. Um, I mean, of course. We need to get help from uh, from all the community members who might reach other networks, which we are not not part of. I mean, you're mentioning like photographers, videographers, and so on. Um, but I think on the Ubuntu side of things as well, um, there's something that uh, that we could uh, that we could work on um, in terms of um, having scheduled set of posts on um, on the on the Ubuntu social media media accounts. Making sure that uh, there's a page on uh, on community that want to come as well, uh, and things like that. I mean, I think I think perhaps um, one of these things that might help as well um, might be to um, well to assess whether it's uh, it's worth moving the content from the wiki to a dedicated page on on community that want to come and uh, and make it a bit more visual, showing the type of content that has been um, submitted in the past. Um, that might be something that might help. I'm just throwing ideas, uh, ideas right now on how we could publicize this. I, I like that idea because the the uh, content doesn't really change very much. I mean, we have these formats, um, these submission guidelines, and um, I, you know, I think that would probably be a good idea. The the um, the one of the issues I had was that when it came down to the uh, submissions, um, I, I wasn't paying enough attention to the uh, the uh, the content licenses and so I wasn't really uh, uh, there are a few things uh, uh, pictures in there that were 
properly licensed and they had to be excluded from the from the uh, from the the concept. Unfortunately, one or two were um, were actually were top runners and they had to be dropped because they were like uh, non-commercial, no derivatives. I'm like, well, I, that's even just commercial project uh, projects right there, so that's no good. Um, kind of a drag, but um, I mean. Uh, uh, Gosh, I can't remember who whose song is on the disc right now. Uh, Josh, uh, so Woodworth, I think. Uh, um, I remember myself. He's actually he had a couple of, couple of his songs were actually in the um, on the Ubuntu phone image for uh, about a month or so. We had like three little songs from a newer album, and um, because they were, they were openly licensed, and it was something they were uh, trying to uh, trying to test the. Uh, the music app and so um you know they didn't stick around um you know time for the retail phone but it was a possibility um you know i'm a big fan of jonathan colton i've considered maybe sending him an email and saying if he would um suggest all his songs are um creative commons license but they're not they're no commercial so i'd have to see if he'd do that um i mean you can anyone who any artist who's working um with a creative commons license is probably going to be open to being approached and just asked, hey, would you consider, um, I mean, if we get a bunch of, we don't have a lot of room on the disc, so if we get a bunch of submissions, we're going to have to pick one, but um, if they already have another song, they might consider relicensing it, um, for example. So um, uh, there are opportunities opportunities out there for people to, you know, approach people they know or, or admire um, who are doing good work um, under the Creative Commons and other licenses. We got an, we've got a comment from someone on, on IRC. Unfortunately, I cannot see the name, so I can see who actually made it. Uh, but there's something similar uh, to what we discussed already on the previous session on the round table regarding donations. This is about this is actually about doing a video uh, suggesting why people should contribute to uh, to different of British cultural showcase. And I think this might be something that might be actually quite quite effective and something that might be quite fun to do. Um, like, well, quite fun to do if it's just not one person doing it. I think it would might be it might be worth like putting together together a team to do like I don't know, um, fifteen second uh, pitch on uh, or thirty second pitch on uh, why you should contribute to the free free culture showcase, and then stitching it all together. That might be something that, that might bring more awareness on uh, on the uh, on the content and something that we can easily share. That sounds like a good idea. Um, one really good reason uh, to participate this particular cycle is that the um, so discs only are only pressed uh, every two years for the LTS, and so Xenial, uh, which will be Ubuntu 1604 LTS, is one of those releases. And so, if you submit uh, your work to the um, to the uh, free culture showcase and it is accepted into ubuntu it will be on the disc and that's kind of cool so you have a souvenir disc um question from irc is can we possibly have more than one song on the disc and um so the problem with that is that the the disc um is supposed to only be like a gigabyte and of course wiley is 1.2 gigabytes so um that makes a liar out of me but i didn't make those rules um we there's a concern with the there's a couple concerns so um one uh, we don't want the uh you know when we're when we're excluding software from the default desktop for size we don't want to have a ton of um you know i mean most of the the video and the, and the, the sample music might be something that people play once and never again so we have to be careful about size um as well as i'm pushing really really hard to get this content um on the phone in the default image as well, um, it just as a sign of inversions. Um, and uh, everyone's really agreeable to that, but then we can't have like, you know, a, a full album or like five songs or something. Um, I could see two songs. If we had really good songs, if there was a tie or something, I would push for two songs, like if we didn't have a video or if there's something, some other way to offset that, or if they were both short songs, they were both like a minute and a half or two minutes. Because uh, I think the song on there right now is like three or four minutes. Um, 
Uh, so size permitting, I think that's not impossible. I'd make that push, but I'm not the one necessarily making that decision either. So um, I, I would make my case. So, but I could see, I could see two songs maybe. Um, yeah, one of the uh, one of the uh, community members wanted like eight wallpapers and wanted them to be uncompressed for magazine, and that just wasn't was a possibility, unfortunately. Let's see. Um, David, do you know, uh, do you have any ideas? So the canonical design team said that they uh, were going to take those wallpapers and recrop them for the phone. And I haven't heard anything since. Have you heard anything about that? Or do I need to start um, emailing people? Oh, I haven't been involved, to be honest, so I cannot really tell you. I think Daniel was more involved in the in the free culture showcase. But uh, I mean, what I would say is that if you start emailing people, make sure to CC us, either Daniel or myself, so we can make sure that we talk to the right people as well. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I cannot answer that one. But uh, but yeah, definitely it would be. Um, it would be a really nice one to do, especially because um, there's something that we that, that could be incorporated to the to the rolling releases um, already. Right. Yeah, it's probably a little too late for uh, OTA. What is it? Eight coming up. But um, yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, but, but what, maybe what, 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 the... what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say is that uh, yeah, this is something that can be incorporated, and then it it will go automatically on the next one. Yeah, just as you're saying, I think OTA 8 might be a bit too late, and it, I need to check the milestones. I think it's in two weeks' time. I'm not sure. It's the milestone that I don't want, but, but if not, yeah, it's like November 18th. I think is the date. Yeah. So that's two weeks, and then like a half a week for testing. So I, yeah, probably I, I, I probably missed the chance. I, I had that idea uh, last week, and I, I just been busy. But um, um, uh, so I'll, I'll follow up because um. Everyone seemed really excited about that idea, and then uh, crickets. So uh, that happens sometimes. Um, yeah. is there I need to find out myself who, who's, who's in charge of uh, of doing this, but I'm sure we can we can find out. Or have you been talking already with someone from the design team? Do you know? No, uh, there were two people that I talked to uh, during the judging period that they were. Um, I gave the design team a vote. I said so. You know get together and pick your favorite 15 images and uh they um did i say 15 or 20. i think i, I think we we're gonna have 10 images and i asked for like 15 and everyone was like here's my top 10 and i'm like that's not what i asked for so <laughs> there was that um but i can uh yeah uh, liz gets a pass because she is, was insanely busy as usual um other than that, <laughs> in any case, I think, so, I, think um, we, I, I think we can help you reach out to the to, to the design team, and, and because it's not also a, dec a decision from the design team, uh, it's it's also about the uh, about the engineering teams uh, adding them to the phone, which are generally different ones than than the ones adding them to the desktop. Um, yeah, and I, I everyone seemed on board. I mean, I. I, I I think I reached out to the right people uh, in general, and, and people were like, "That sounds great. That's a great idea. We should do that." And then no one's done it. So um, we'll I'll, I'll follow up. And then uh, I'm a little concerned. I don't know what the plan is because I I sort of think either the wallpaper shouldn't be cropped, or I feel like this, this some someone right uh, should have a thing where basically. Look, you know, a landscape wallpaper and the phone's portrait. So it seems like there should be an indicator where you can, uh, as part of the wallpaper, suggest a, a vertical, you know, cropping so that you get, you can pick a wallpaper and then when, when the device converged, you get your landscape wallpaper. Right, right, right. Work, yeah. Uh, otherwise. Um, I need to tell actually what, what not, do we do. Um, yeah, that wasn't the... trivial, of course, as a suggestion, and and I think uh, they were just going to recrop and put it, which is suboptimal. But 
Okay. Yeah, so um, we can discuss it later. Like, I mean, I, uh, I I don't really know myself. I cannot really give any input in here. I'm just thinking what we what we do when 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 you connect a, a phone to the to a big monitor. I can't I can't recall what you do with the with the wallpaper. Yeah. Well, I think there's just a default wallpaper, so I I don't think uh, I don't know. I I guess I could, well, I can't try it. I have um I'll have to play with my uh my tablet, my Nexus 7 right now is, uh, my Nexus 5, I had to upgrade to Android 6.0, and so it doesn't run into at the moment, but uh, plus I, I think it's broken that. right now. Uh, uh, the, the, yeah, so, uh, well, we'll see. But yeah, Nexus 7 uh, works pretty well, so I'll, I'll, I'll take a look. Um, a comment from IRC, um, that they would, someone would like a, a wallpaper of a fantastical architect architectural building. Um, I we had a building uh, a hotel I think this last cycle. Um, I I think architecture could be really interesting. Um, we have to um, uh, we have to select from what's submitted. So get out there and take some great photos. I would say. Um, I guess I would look at the schedule and just sort of see if that makes sense to everyone. Um, I think we don't have a lot of people uh, in IRC right now, but. Um, I think it might be a good, a good start um, to, to discuss them publicly and then perhaps, well, I think we'll need to send it uh, to uh, to the developed mailing list perhaps to check the uh, the uh, the schedule for the, uh, for the UI freeze. Um, but yeah, I think we can start. Yeah, the UI freeze should be uh, March 10th, okay. uh, as far as preliminary schedule goes. So I figure if we um, if we have the picks by like say February twenty eighth, um, that gives us you know a week and a half basically yeah. to uh, pick everything. Actually, it didn't take long last time, mostly because uh, Daniel Holbach did all the work for me, so that was fantastic. <laughs> and uh, in fact, um, the uh, one of the photos didn't have a name, and so I reached out to the author, uh, the the photographer on Flickr, and um, got gone to title. So I that was actually I think it was actually my first direct code contribution to Ubuntu uh, was making that nice. That was kind of fun. Um, let's see. So but yeah I think uh, uh, basically having a, a month um, four weeks of January twenty fourth open submissions close them Sunday the twenty first. Um, I like that better because it's over a weekend. And then that gives us a week to judge. So we'll have to hopefully have a, a panel of judges in place by then. It shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. I mean, do, how do you feel though about, about having a week for uh, for judging? I mean, do you think that that was uh, this, this was actually no, or perhaps two weeks? Well, the, it's odd. I mean, um, most of the judges did submit. Um, Submit, uh, uh, you know, their votes. Um, I think that if um, I th think if someone has the time, so I, I think the most important thing is is that it's a Sunday and then uh, it goes over a weekend. So if during the week and then during the weekend they don't have time, they probably just don't have time. And that happens sometimes. But I, I think uh, I think a week works in that case. Okay. So I, I, the problem with pushing things even ahead uh, for that is that um, so because I was thinking, well, when when how early could we announce this? Could we do like a two month uh, submission window? Uh, but then you have everything happening with holidays, and so I think I, I'm not certain that that uh, I think there's a diminishing return in, on, on uh, return on the investment there. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, another option, and again, I'm just throwing throwing ideas here. I mean, if 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 we were to make it like longer, uh, longer time for submissions. Um, I mean, one of the things that we've done in the past with long contests, uh, for example, a developer contest, has been to um, to make sure that there's regular postings of uh, of what's going on in the contest to keep the the interest alive. So that that might be something that we could use. I mean, I think we could use this in any case, but I think. Especially if, uh, if if we were to make it like longer submission time, uh, I mean, I'm not suggesting to do it. I'm just, I'm throwing the idea. 
yeah, I, I think that needs to be done. Uh, in any case, it was something I, I, I wish I'd had more time for, unfortunately. Um, I think that's one of the places I dropped the ball. So um, I I think we should do that anyway. Um, I'm still happy with the month. I think what we can do is, is we can definitely uh, make sure that we announce, we talk about this beforehand. Um, I think, especially with video content, um, can take a very long time. And, and I mean, music takes a long time too. Uh, photography only takes, you know, one 450th of a second. So uh, that's less of a problem. But, you know, the, the truth is that the planning can take a long time as well. So um, let's see. Uh, question is, could, could I, in IRC, can I give out my email address and Twitter name for the community so that um, they can get in touch with me if they have any other suggestions? And um, uh, yeah, so on Twitter, I'm uh, at nhaines, which uh, I never ever check, but my phone uh, harasses me about. Um, my email address is uh, nhaines at ubuntu.com. That's N-H-A-I-N-E-S at ubuntu.com. And um, I'm always available there. Um, so yeah, definitely people can get in touch with me there. Uh, you can also email to the Ubuntu community team mailing list, uh, which I don't know what the email address is. It's Ubuntu-community-team at lists.ubuntu.com. But I don't actually know. So uh, is that on the community uh, page? And you are muted, so uh, we'll never know the answer. I'm oh, sorry. I had to turn the light. They actually turned the light on, so I couldn't hear the question. Could you repeat? Uh, so the uh, I suggested that uh, aside from emailing me personally, um, that the Ubuntu community team e uh, mailing list might be a good yeah. place. For yeah, so, I think uh, I think yeah, I think that's the best thing. I mean, the thing is, this is an this is an open contest. Um, this is something that's been driven by by Nathan, but um, I think if you've got suggestions, it might be uh, always useful to discuss them on a, on a wider forum as well. And again, someone then can can chip in and uh, and then actually help. So it's not all, always um, um, it's not it's not always a lot of it on one person. Yeah, I, I think that the feedback and the discussion uh, is is more important. I mean, anyone can definitely email me, and it. I've definitely told people before, don't email me, e like email the list or, or you know, uh, because then anyone can, uh, you know, chip in. Uh, but um, I, for this, definitely, if anyone suggestions that you want to rent by me first, that's fine. But um, I think the ABNC community team is probably the better place for that, just in general, uh, because I'm, I'm subscribed to that too. Um, is there a link to that mailing list on the community portal at community.ubuntu.com? I'm not sure to be honest. I was just going to paste the, the link to the to the ERC channel, but I, that's it. Let's check. Okay, so I'm going to. Um, I have to look up the list name then. Um, so yeah, you know what they need to do? They need to have a prefix on the subject line for that list. So I can really easily search that because they don't have that. Let's see here. Um, but yeah, and hence, uh, at ubuntu.com is, is, is where I can be reached. And uh, let's see here. Check here. So, and actually, unrelated to that, I'm going to put an action to myself to add a link to the community mailing list on community.ubuntu.com. Oh, there we go. Getting things done. Uh, that is a community dash. I'm sorry, Ubuntu dash community dash team at lists and it's the uh, it's it's a it's just a good community team, but it really is just a a, a place for uh, community advocates and enthusiasts to get together and discuss uh, advocacy efforts and, and ideas. So it's not uh, anything formal. Uh, you should definitely subscribe, um, and you'll be able to do that at community.ubuntu.com once uh, once. David does that. So, um, so, but um, it's a good way. It, it's good also because um, you know, if you are interested in spreading the word about Ubuntu and you have uh, ideas for different ways to do that, flyers, brochures, pamphlets, events, outreach, uh, the free culture showcase, 
um, you can get together there. And um, it's a low volume list, so we could definitely use, I think, more more traffic, more, uh, more discussion there. So uh, yeah, thanks for getting that up there. Um, I guess that was a, an oversight we can correct. And thanks to uh, Ridgewing and IRC for bringing that up because uh, I think that's going to get things uh, a little bit better. Yeah, I think, and I think I mean continuing the discussion on the on the timeline. Uh, I mean, for me, without being having been direct, directly involved uh, on the on the contest, and from your feedback, to me, it looks good as it is. I mean, perhaps one thing that I, that I perhaps argue for is like. What I said before, um, extending the time for submissions, but then we've always got the eternal problem of, of it overlapping with other um, deadlines. But I think, I mean, there's something that uh, we could bring up on the on the list as uh, answers we are and then take the uh, the feedback from there. I'd be open to that. I I my concern is that um, if we have like a you know like a five month submission window that it's really, people are really excited at the beginning and at the end, not in the in between. Um, but if yeah, people think that that's a good idea, um, there's no reason we can't open the submission window earlier. I think I think we pushed the, the close as late as possible, um, as late as I'm comfortable with, um, because we do have a lot of things as far as judges getting their schedules together and then action. Um, so. Uh, you know, especially if we're going to get these, if we're going to get this on the phone uh, or anywhere else, I want to make sure that we have time to, to address any concerns that uh, those stakeholders might have, engineering team, or so on. So, um, so uh, yeah, if we want to do like six weeks or eight weeks, I think that'd be good. Eight weeks is just everything happens right around between Christmas and New Year's, solstice, and Hanukkah, and, uh, Kwanzaa, and all the other wonderful winter stuff. So. Um, that may not be good. I think that it has to get lost in the shuffle. Um, which, by the way, is uh, why I haven't done a fridge announcement yet um, for the Ubuntu uh, Free when there's um, the Xenon announcement happened and the release happened, and so um, announced uh, Ubuntu Online Summit, so prof, probably something for next week. Question I see um, so could the showcase be uh, financially incentivized? Um, you know, in the form of uh, prizes and sort, give higher quality of submissions. So, um, what do you think about that? Yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence on this one. I've, I've thought about this actually, but um, yeah, I mean, on the one hand, I know that it has it has helped with some of the contests that uh, we were running, for example. Um, I think it was the origami contest or the scopes video contest that um, that definitely helped with the with the content up. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that having um, prizes um, contributes to the quality. Uh, it definitely contributes on the quantity. Um, but as I am, I mean, to mind on the one hand, I, I think it can incentivate uh, participation. On the other hand, it being a free culture showcase. Um, and given the fact that this, this, these are works of art, like put together for at, at no cost, uh, it might clash with the with the ideas of the contest. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't really feel strongly about um, about either. But certainly, this is something that we could look at. I mean, do you think anything? Well, I don't think that the artwork ne necessarily is put together at no cost. It's just it's offered. To the world at large, at no cost. Um, I mean, certainly, uh, DLS, DSLR lens is not not no cost. Would that they were. Um, I I think that um, my main uh, source of hesitancy is that the um, what would you offer? Like if you're if you're offering a like the Ubuntu um, uh, apps contest, the, the scopes contest, you'd be like the top three winners get a phone, right? And that's perfect for them because they're developing phone apps for the phone, and then they win a phone. So I, that makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't know. I mean, you could never offer photo equipment. One, it would be, it would just it would empty out the uh, contributor fund uh, for any professional equipment. Um, and second, you know, you everyone wants different things. Um, you know, whether it's Canon or Nikon or or whatever. Um, and then that's 
who knows what the uh, songwriters and uh, videographers would, would need would want. So, uh, uh, and then a catchphrase always works, but that's I don't know, not tacky, but uh, then you're just like here's money, right? So, um, I I like the idea, but I'm not sure what I would feel would be practical. I'm not what would be offer the most incentive. I guess is what I'm saying. So, but we might think about that. Uh, I mean, I, I'm open to hearing about that. Um, I don't want to push it off. I don't want to just say, "Oh, yeah, we should do that in the future for for uh, Zenio plus one." But um, uh, I think it's an interesting question that probably has a lot of interesting answers. And that's all I have to say about that. All right. So I think looking at the agenda, we've got about five minutes left, I think, or less than that. Um, looking at the agenda, I think we've covered pretty much everything. I think the most important thing perhaps might be to agree on, on the schedule from what you're, you're saying, Nathan. And then, um, yeah, the part about publicity. I think that's, that's the part where we need to perhaps sit down and uh, and see if we can put together a plan and see if we can get other people contributing to uh, to publicize this outside of our Ubuntu circles. Yeah, I think if I had to pick one thing that uh, uh, the community at large could could do to, to help, um, I think it would definitely be getting spreading the word. Um, and um, just remember that, that you don't have to ask permission. I mean, uh, if you if you know where there are artists, um, you can definitely tell them about the contest. Um, question I see is, uh, why don't we just offer an Ubuntu fund for the winners? Uh, at least you can take video and photo anyway. Um, I don't know if that's uh, 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 practical, but um, I could see doing that maybe. So the problem, of course, is that the phones uh, are only viable in every country but the United States, and who lives there? So, um, you know, uh, that the location is kind of an issue, but um, I, I could say, I think I think that could be up for discussion. But yeah, the best thing anyone who wants to help can do is definitely to uh, to get the word out. Um, we have a schedule up. I guess we'll talk about it on the community mailing list, and um, just uh, you know keep an eye on that. And then I will, once we nail things down, I think I'll announce it early um, before the official announcement because um, we do want to get the word out, and that way people can plan to uh, you know go look for places. So uh, I think that's about it. I think so. Uh, Content-wise, I think the rules on uh, licensing and uh, quantity of winners and so on, I think, is probably going to stay the same. Uh, and um, uh, you know, I got a couple of people didn't like that, but I, those have been the rules since the contest started. So I haven't changed those. So, um, and if you think that uh, there are better guidelines, um, you should bring it to the Ubuntu community list, the community team list. So. Uh, yeah, and I think that that's something, I mean, we've mentioned it a couple of times. I think it's important as well. If there's any suggestions for, for improvements, um, it's good to uh, to discuss it on the on the mailing list. Um, as said, as uh, well, actually, as, as Nathan said, um, you don't have to ask for permission uh, to participate uh, or to make changes. Uh, and I think that that's a very important message. So if you feel you have, um, you have a good idea and you feel you can make a change, um, I just suggest just go for it essentially and uh, and make it happen. I agree. So. All right, I guess that's the end for this session. I guess we'll clear out so that uh, the RC channel can reset for the next session, which I don't know what it, I don't think there's a next session actually. So let's go another hour. All right. All right, thanks Nathan, thanks everyone. All right, thanks David. Bye -bye. Cheers.